we can no well, longer hide you. our hand How in the sand and trust man to solve the problem? Hell, it was men who got us here in the first place. What do you think George will do if he finds out all our dealers are getting yeah. He'll kill Richie for sure. Probably Charlie and Merle too. Fuck. Comes to that, my ass is vanishing. George will never find me out there in that <laughs> swamp. <laughs> Charlie called in all the boys. We're and good. Just need to hunker down and wait for that nigga to come to us. <laughs> What? Any last words, asshole? Turn that motherfucker inside out! I'm done playing with this asshole! You animals ought to be washed off the face of the earth! Out of ammo! Reload! He's... Uh, oh, son, uh, he's got me pit... Reggie, I didn't want to do this shit. Rest in peace, asshole. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. 
We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't tease her. This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which he do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrapped me as a whole. You with Dixie Mafia? No. Yes. I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa. Go on, get. He could want to do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. a bad sense about this, man. Richie needs to work this shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking chores. Cause if he don't, we fuck like your mama on prom night. For sure, man. For sure. Well, better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. All right, then. Watch your ass down there.
can't piss off that many niggers and not expect some kind of response. It's Juan Coon. Fuck this. After all the fucking up Richie done could be George's boys. Don't matter if it's Juan Coon or 50 grease balls. Only thing you worry about is the one motherfucker in front of you. I'm going. Holler if you see something. Fuck this fucking shit, I need a drink.
Surprises ain't my thing. place is fucking creepy as shit. You go through that Bayou Beast ride? Ain't one for kitty rides. But I do believe in the Rougarou. Are you serious? Road we're heading down with Richie. Liable to bring us right down that beast's fucking path. Aw, oh, shit. Why'd I have to open my fucking mouth?
If he thinks I'm giving up that easy, something he don't quite. learned his lesson. Slip up yonder, see what you can see. You gotta be somewhere, sweetheart. Shit going down. Run that motherfucker out of here. Some bitch right there. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. Georgie send you? Run that motherfucker out of here. Fucking side face! 
Listen, boy. <laughs> Nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with it! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Oh. What was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please. Please. Listen, listen. Just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. You mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was gonna kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. Seth's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. Thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But gestures carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. <laughs> 